These are the ingredients that you'll need to make this delicious bread. Three cups of unbleached bread flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast, one and a half cups of water, and about a quarter cup of wheat bran. You'll need a large casserole dish with a cover. Although the small one here will work, you'll get a larger, lighter loaf in the large casserole dish. This is a five quart casserole dish, and it's the one we're going to use today. In a large bowl, measure out three cups of unbleached bread flour. Add one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm just using a heaping teaspoon, which will be close enough. Add one and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast. Again, I'm just using a heaping teaspoon. Mix the dry ingredients together for a few seconds. Add one and a half cups of water at room temperature. With a spoon, work the dry ingredients and water together until a rough, uniform, wet dough has formed and all the flour has been absorbed. A lot of dough will stick to your spoon, so use a second spoon to scrape most of it back into the bowl. Cover the bowl and set it aside for 18 to 24 hours. If your bowl doesn't have a cover, you can use plastic wrap. After 18 to 24 hours have passed, the dough will look like a sticky mess. You should notice a wonderful aroma when you remove the cover. Scrape the dough onto a heavily floured surface. The dough will be very sticky, so make sure that you use plenty of flour. Sprinkle a little flour on the top of the dough to make it easier to handle. Stretch the dough into a roughly 10 by 10 inch square shape. Fold one third of the dough towards the middle. Fold the opposite side over as well, making a long rectangle shape. Fold one third of the rectangle towards the middle, then fold the opposite end towards the middle again, making roughly a ball shape. Stretch this last flap around the rest of the dough so the only seams are on the bottom of the dough. Gently roll the ball of dough around to get more flour to stick to the top of the dough. Next, prepare a spot for the dough to rest by heavily flouring a surface like this cutting board, and then spread a few tablespoons of wheat bran. Place the dough onto the prepared area, and then sprinkle a little more flour and wheat bran onto the top of the dough. Cover the dough with plastic wrap and a towel to let it rest for two hours. When the dough has rested about an hour and a half, place the empty casserole dish into your oven and preheat the oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. After the dough is finished resting for two hours, remove the casserole dish from the oven. Remove the cover and let it cool for about five minutes. Although we want the dish to be warm, the dough will burn if it is placed in the dish as soon as it comes out of the oven. Remove the plastic wrap from the dough. Sprinkle a couple tablespoons of wheat bran into the casserole dish. Get some flour on your hands so the dough won't stick to them. Roll the dough over so the seams are on top and flour can stick to the other side of the dough. Gently place the dough into the casserole dish and put the cover back on. Place the dish in the oven and set the timer for 20 minutes. After baking for 20 minutes, remove the cover. The dough should be doubled in size during the first 20 minutes, but will not yet be brown. Bake for another 10 minutes uncovered. 
The bread should be well browned on top when it's ready. If you use enough flour and wheat bran in the dish, the bread should fall right out when the dish is tipped over. The bottom of the bread will be much darker, but shouldn't be black. Try to restrain yourself and allow the bread to cool for at least a half hour on a cooling rack before trying to cut into it. It should make a crackling sound for the first five to 10 minutes of cooling. This bread is definitely best on the day that it's made. Allow to cool completely before storing it. Do not store it in an airtight container or the crust will become soggy. I recommend sharing it with friends while still warm with thin slices of Havarti cheese or butter with honey. Unless your friends see you bake the bread, they might not believe that you made it yourself. It's that good. Here's a loaf that I made in the smaller casserole dish that I showed you earlier. Although I used the same amount of dough, it didn't rise as much and made a much denser loaf. It's still delicious, but I prefer the airy texture of the larger loaf. Enjoy!